All right, everybody. In this clip, we are going to be adding the costume. Create a brand new layer, call it costume, and let's get started. What I like to do is always add the costume design in a different color. And for me and for today's purpose, it's going to be red. I really like working in the red, blue, black pencil combo, pretty much like a traditional animator. So for me, working in red just comes naturally. Why do I ask, add the mask first? It's pretty simple. It is part of the head. And whenever I work on a piece, the very most important thing for me is to make sure that my art connects with the viewer. So the mask being on his face, it's gonna be the first thing that I personally gravitate towards working on. I'm also gonna take my costume layer and lower it beneath my pencil layer just because I want the darkest of dark lines to be on top because it helps give me a little bit of a guide. Next, what I'm gonna do is just add some gloves, work with the contour of the forearms to ensure that things still have dimension, they're not flat. Now, some of my ultimate shading will change, but rather than do a deep dive into that now, I'm gonna end up doing that with the inks where a little bit of my highlights and shading are gonna to change to make sure that we have a clear delineation between the different areas of the costume. Now I'm adding areas of the costume onto the shoulders, the pecs across the rib cage and down the abs. I'm keeping in mind that the anatomy has shape, the bones have shape. So I'm curving the costume around these areas. And yet again, you see me erasing. There's uh, no, no shame in that. You know, you're going to become really good friends with your eraser if you're doing it right. Now, I also want to make sure that it's clear that the costume wraps around the delts. So I'm not making every bit of the different markings in the costume just go around the entire delt, but I'm separating different aspects of the costume design around different areas of the muscle. Now I'm roughing in a basic belt for the character that will obviously wrap around his waist and a bit of a belt buckle of sorts. This way I can later on probably add some sort of shading and highlight around the waist area. Let's zoom out a little bit, make sure this looks and feels right does it seems to actually work well it feels good little touch-ups are going to be needed here and there but all in all this is a nice simple design for our superhero it looks and feels strong dynamic powerful i might later on as i progress forward decide i might want to keep or might want to remove the holes for the years haven't decided that yet but we'll know later when we move on to our next module. And our next module is going to be us inking our superhero. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Review of how to make our hero take form. How to make quick art corrections. Approaching the process of penciling. How to render, shade, and costume our hero. So he pops. My thoughts on penciling, picking the proper lines, shade for effect and interest, design a costume that fits, and always, most importantly, have fun.